Just got back to the hotel and I'm missing a large Big Mac meal. What can I do? You're more than welcome to come back and get it. Just give you a text in a bit when I'm coming back. Okay. Sweet. You're a star. Thanks very much, mate, and I'll see you later. Morning. How are we today? The time is 11.57. So I've obviously completely missed breakfast in those hotels. I've not had any breakfast in Jose's house, but he did feed me last night, so I'm not that hungry, but I am going to get hungry. Jose is a cool guy. He was definitely having me on about the nudism thing. I was slightly worried about that. But we're all good, and we're going to stay there tonight. So at least I've got somewhere to stay for tonight but I am messaging other people just to keep my options open because I can imagine I'm gonna be here for at least a couple of days and where to next Pfft, I don't know whether to go down to Miami you know like I'd re I've never been but the thing is if I keep going south I need to come back up north my next stops either gonna be Miami or Tallahassee is it I think I said that right but I'm not gonna worry about that for now I'm just gonna have a chill day first day in Orlando I just want to soak up some Sun maybe chill by a pool so there's like a big group of like nice hotels like an hour and 15 minutes from Jose's house so that's where I'm walking now so next stop some nice hotel Right, I'm finally here. One tip about Orlando, you can't walk anywhere. Everything is miles away. You need a car. I didn't know this. It's proven to be a lot harder than I thought because most of the day is gone with me walking here. Anyway, I'm here. This is the hotel. I am gonna try. I just wanna relax. If I can get some food, it's a bonus, but I just wanna chill out. Right, we're at the front door now, so wish me luck. Cheers, thanks very much. Which um, floor was the spa? I think it's in floor one. If you want, ask along from this. Reception. Okay, yes. cheers, thank you very much. Okay, that's not worked too well. I need to find where this is. Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, which way was the spa at all? I don't know. Ask the front desk. Ask the front desk. Ah, okay, yeah, no problem. Where the hell? is the pool and the spa at this place. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to be painted. You don't know where the pool is around here. It's on the first oh, floor. Ah, okay, I thought it was at the top. Um, do you know what, is the spa there as well, is it? Ah, uh, I have no idea. Okay, no yeah. worries. Cheers, yeah. man, thanks very much. I'm trying to figure out where everything is here. I think it's all on the ground floor, but I just can't see anything. I don't want to like linger about, so it's obvious. Excuse me, where about's the pool area? Outside those double doors to the left. To the left. Make sure you have a room key to get out there. Yeah, no problem. And the spa as well, is that sort of that way or? Yeah, we don't have a spa, it's just the pool area. Ah, okay, no worries, cheers, thank you. Right, so I found out where the pool is, but there's no spa, mm, that's not good. All right, let's check this out. She said I need a room key to get out there. Ah, oh, it's like a big fence. Right, so there is a lock on the gate, you need a key card, and it doesn't look anything special anyway, to be honest. So let me show you. I am currently at the Marriott, and then behind me, in those buildings there, is the Hilton. So let's go and check out there, let's see if that's any better. Right, so I'm here now at the Hilton. I feel like I'm being quite whingy today, but carrying this massive bag in this heat is not great. First day in Orlando, I just want to chill out today, to be honest. I'm in no rush to get anywhere quick. So let's go and check this hotel out. Oh my God, it looks nice in here. Check this out. This actually looks like a really big hotel. I'm just following the arrows to the pool now. Right, this is the pool area now. I don't know if you've got to have your key to get in, actually. Right, let's get some sun. Right, that is enough chilling by the pool. I've literally been there all day. And I don't know if you can see by this video, but I have literally burnt myself. Well, so far it ain't been an exciting day at all, but I haven't eaten all day and I am absolutely starving. So the mission now is to 100% get something to eat. I'm gonna check the hotel first, then we might have to try the Mackey's trick. Let's see how we get on. Where can you get food? Do you do like a buffet or anything like that? We don't have a buffet at night, but the grill is open 
right here, and then okay. there's also pizza um, and burgers, and then Starbucks. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you very much. You're Cheers. Welcome. Thanks. Right, so we ain't eating in the hotel. That's like totally not happening. The Mackey's trick it is. I've decided I actually need to get a shower as well. I'm gonna try and find like a local gym and like maybe pretend to join up for the gym so I can try it out. That'd be a good way to get a shower. First though, let's ring Mackey's. Let's get this done. I'm starving. Uh, hi, is this a McDonald's? Uh -huh. Um, I've just been there. We ordered some McDonald's. I've just got back to the hotel and I'm missing a large Big Mac meal. What can I do? Can I come back and get it? Or? Of course, of course. You're more than welcome to come back and get it. Oh, okay, thank you. What was your name, please? I'll ask you. My name I... is Caroline. Okay, thanks, Caroline. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. It can't work again. <laughs> it looks like it's worked again. Right, let's go to Mackey's. Right, here we go. Excuse me, I just called up and spoke to someone called Caroline. I just rang up about the McDonald's. I just got my phone. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Cheers, Sorry. really appreciate I'll that. Um, yeah, I'll grab a Coke if that's okay. Ah, cheers, thanks very much for that. Cheers, thanks very much, bye. just come out of McDonald's. Oh my god, look at that sky over there. That is ridiculous. As you can now see, I have clearly burnt my face today. That's what you get when you fall asleep by the pool. Anyway, now I've come out of McDonald's. I am desperate for a shower. My hair is greasy. I don't want to bother Jose for a shower, if you get what I mean. Put the thinking cap on and there's a gym just like half a mile down here, LA Fitness. So I'm thinking if I try and pretend to be a member or something so I can go in and grab a shower or even like pretend to join I don't know literally your guess is as good as mine I'm gonna head there now yeah let's see how we get on we're back on the penny board LA Fitness is literally there You're free. Um, I've literally just moved into the area. I'm just wondering, like, what other things to join and stuff like that. Yeah, you can. Because one of my friends joined here as well, so. Yeah, for sure. How are you doing? When you sign up with the gym, you pay an initiation. You pay your first, and you pay your last month. To be honest, I've never been in here as well. So can I like try it out, or can you give me a tour or something like that? Oh, you've never been here before at all. I've never been here before in my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can go for the tour, and then we just go with the prices. Do you do a towel service here at all? No, towel service we don't. We never here. You don't have towels in this facility. You can always bring your own towel in. Uh... Yeah. To be fair, I'll probably leave it for now, just because I was going to yeah. try it out. Well, that weren't very good, was it? They don't do a towel service there, so there was no point wasting his time, because I'd end up getting in the shower, and then I'd have nothing to dry myself with. That's that out of the question. I need to find a gym with towel service quick. It's getting dark. I would try the hotel trick, but it's getting a bit too late for that now. There won't be any cleaners around. Right, let me see which gyms do towel service. So the guy said there's another LA Fitness that does towel service, but it's an hour and nine minutes walk walk away. Not only that, but it's an hour and nine minutes in the wrong direction to Jose's house. So that like doubles my trip back. So by the time I get there, it'd be like half eight. And then to get back to his without the shower and, and trying to go through all that hassle, you're looking late. So I'm not going to do it, but I need a shower. Maybe Jose will let me have one. So let me give you my thoughts on today. Orlando's a really cool place. It seems it, even though I've not actually done any touristy things yet. It's completely unmanageable on foot. Everything is too far away from each other. So today has just been completely swallowed up by walking everywhere. It's just crazy. Tomorrow is 100% gonna be my last day in Orlando. So I'm gonna try and fit as much as possible in it tomorrow. I'm torn whether to go south to Miami or go to Tallahassee, is it, up north? Because if I go up north, I can then go across to Alabama where I need to go. If I go down to Miami, it just adds on my journey. But what do you all think? Should I go down south? Or should I go up north? I'm literally torn. Right, I'm gonna head back to Jose's house, try and get my head down so I can have an early start tomorrow. Right, I'm just getting back to Jose's now. I have texted him, but he hasn't replied. Hopefully he won't come to the door naked this time either. Hey man, how's it going? Ugh. 
Oh my god, today has been a frustrating day. So with how Orlando is, it's just not sustainable because half the day gets swallowed up with walking places. It's not good for my feet. I'm not fitting as much in as I'd like to do. It's not helping with the challenge. So unfortunately, tomorrow is going to be my last full day here. I am going to try and get as much packed in as possible and I'm going to get an early start. It's just whether I go north or south. Because if I go south, obviously I've got to come back the whole of Florida. And like Miami is like a four or five hour drive from Orlando plus like the three from Jacksonville. So it's like another eight nine hours up i have a feeling what's gonna swing whether i go north or south is that i've actually got a subscriber who works for american airline and he said he could potentially book me a flight obviously it's no subscriber help this week but then from monday obviously i can get help again so i'm thinking if he could book me a flight to my next stop which is alabama from miami that could swing whether i go south so i could check out miami because i've never been there either i've never spoke to this guy in my life we've exchanged a few messages Let's FaceTime him and see what the deal is. Hey man, how's it going man, you alright? Just thought I'd sort of like catch up and just see what the best way of doing this is to be honest. Because obviously it's no subscriber help this week. I definitely can't get a flight this week. I'm thinking, do I go north? Is it to Tallahassee? Or do I go south to Miami? But obviously the problem I've got is I've got to go to Alabama. If I go to Mobile, I can then go to New Orleans from there. So what are your thoughts, dude? I mean, if you get to Tallahassee, yeah, that would probably be easy. But going west out of there is pretty much next to impossible. I mean, at least out of Miami, you have a way. There's like a couple options right now. Leaving at 6.30 in the morning, get you into Mobile at 10.30. Or you can leave at 5.45 in the morning, get you into Mobile at 1.15. Let's go for like the 6.30 Mobile flight on Monday morning, if that's okay. Yeah, we can do that, for sure. And obviously it's on Monday, so technically I'm still not getting any help this week, so that's all good. Honestly, I really, really appreciate this, Will. Thanks very much, mate. Anytime, man. Have a good one. Yeah, cheers, man. I'll catch you later. So that's what Will said. Potentially fly out of Miami to Mobile on Monday, because obviously then I can get help again. But I don't know whether to just travel up north. I don't know. Drop me a comment and let me know. Do you reckon I go with Will or do I go up north? Obviously at the minute it's no subscriber help week, but for those of you who want to help me, please, please donate to my charity. The link is in description. The money is going up, but it's not going up quick enough. So anything at all, you can give like 50p or a pound, anything would be grateful. I'd really appreciate it. And on that note, I'm going to hit the deck because I want to get an early night and cram in as much things in my last day in Orlando tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.